It's about, probably about 7.30. No one's in the park or in this area of the park. I'm just going to turn you around. Sun's coming up over the hill over there. There's a blue heron on the boat, uh, boat dock over there. Just quiet today. I'm going to go fishing here in a little bit. Got my kayak, so I'm going to put it in the water and do a lot of kayaking today and fishing today. Lake's pretty quiet today. Not many boats. And I just got through eating tacos at my favorite Mexican food place. They changed their name, but their food's still the same. I don't know why they do that, but I guess they have their reasons. Uh, gotta go to Walmart, but before I do that, I'm gonna go to AutoZone and get a air filter for my truck and also get them to read the code I've got a check engine light and I was gonna have the Dodge dealer do that in um, when I was had the recall but they would are were gonna charge me a diagnostic fee and they told me it would take a few hours and I was like no so anyway I'm gonna have AutoZone I can't remember it's AutoZone or O'Reilly's Anyway, whatever. I'm gonna get. I did. Uh, do need to change my air filter though. They showed it to me at the Dodge place, and it was pretty, pretty bad. So I said, no, thank you. I will take care of that myself. And then I gotta go to Walmart. I did laundry yesterday at the park, so I didn't bring my laundry into town. It just takes too long to do Walmart and laundry. That's a big long day. So, like I came to the right place. This is free check engine light testing. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Walmart because I had to go buy me a new fishing rod. Yep. I got a cheap one. It's $20, $16, something like that. But I got a 15 pound line. I was fishing the other day off my kayak and on my little pole and it snapped the line. And I think that's a 10 pound line. It might be a six anyway I needed a heavier line uh, and I had to get a I had to get a new fishing rod cuz <laughs> mine broke I think I'm leaving them out in the Sun because this is my second one in two years that I broke and I think I just lay them out here and I think the Sun is um, making them more brittle and so they're just snapping so 
the day in the kayak the other day didn't go too well. I broke my line and broke my rod. So I'm going to get this one ready with one of those. Sluggo. Yep. I did catch a fish on it, but that was the one that, and I lost it because um, the line snapped. I think it was a pretty big fish too. So I'm going to get this one rigged up and I might do some fishing this afternoon. We'll see. Uh, tonight I've got, I'm working on a video upload. So kind of doing two things at once. This is tacos. Well, it's not tacos yet. This is ground turkey. I probably filmed this before. It's one of my staples. It's my homemade. It's not my recipe, but this is my homemade taco seasoning, which I make up a batch every time I do tacos. So it is really, really cheap. I got the recipe from it's budgetbites.com. This is, I save it to Evernote in my recipes. So she says the total cost is 34 cents for, I don't know if you can see that, for this um, taco seasoning. It's a lot cheaper than those taco packets. And it's only spices, no additives. Just spices and a little bit of cornstarch is a thickener, so. I'll have leftovers for several days. That's the beauty of cooking meal prep and cooking ahead of time. Then you have leftovers. This is mostly water that's left in there. It's not really grease. So if you recall, if you ever use those taco packets, you add water to them. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the taco seasoning. Have y'all ever tried this Walmart brand fire roasted tomato salsa? Man, this is some good stuff. Um, yeah, it didn't like authentic salsa, but it's good on my tacos, I'll tell you that. And it's cheap. Pour it in here. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Smells good. There's my taco. One taco with some salsa. And that's what's for dinner tonight. 